Hey family, Scott from FindBlackBiz.com. Oh man, oh man. Black women and Hispanic women are doing it. If you don't know, uh, recently uh, some of our prime players in the WNBA. Yeah, the WNBA. Pros tested against police brutality. They wore shirts commemorating Alton Sterling, Philando Castile, and get this, the Dallas Police Department. In response, the police officers that were um, on shift at the time decided to walk out and they promised that they would not uh, perform their duty for the WNBA as long as they had those shirts on. The league then issued a memo saying that it was against policy to be wearing those specific shirts. What these women do? Wore all black, period. Oh, but they did keep it Adidas though because they know they got sponsors. At that point, the league started handing down violation fines. Each team involved uh, got a $5,000 fine for the team and then $500 per player. That's $33,000 on average per team that was involved with this protest. They said, and I quote, we may lose a little, but we've gained so much more. Everything was okay for them to be supporting the Dallas Police Departments, but the minute they started supporting their black men, no, 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 no. Teams like the New York Liberty and Indiana Fever both stood and got the press on their side. Tina Charles, the player of the year, she went on social media to let everybody know how she really felt. She went on to speak about the lives of the police officers that were lost and the lives of the black men that have been killed over the last X amount of years. Tamika Catchings said from then on out and for the rest of her career until things change and get they get the support from the league that she will only address questions related to Black Lives Matter. We give Tamika a thumbs up. But the best quotes came from Tanisha Wright. She's a star player on the New York Liberty. They said they agree and they think it was amazing in the league to support Orlando through its hard time. They even created shirts for the players. When it comes down to breast cancer awareness, the league supports that as well. It's a wonderful thing and all of those players agree to these wonderful things. But when it comes to black lives and black lives matter and issues that affect, and she says, 70% of the league, their silence is painful. And they get fined for something that affects 70% of the league. If you didn't know, 70% of the WNBA are black women. They said that they got the strength to do this after watching Carmelo Anthony go off on his fellow players and saying that they need to support Black Lives Matter as well. I just think that these women are doing a hell of a lot better job than the men in the NBA. Women aren't afraid to lose that money. That's why it's hard to control the women in the WNBA. These millionaire boys in the NBA, punks. They're scared. They're scared to lose out on all the money and everything that comes along with it. I don't know. Maybe they should look at the WNBA's playbooks for once. I'm going to stay on top of this to figure out where this goes. I hope that they don't keep getting fined. I think it's amazing because they're saying they support... Uh, gay issues, they support breast cancer issues, they support the lives of the police officers, but when it comes down to supporting black lives, the WNBA, rather fine you. But I got faith in you guys in the NBA. Let's see what you guys do. You guys claim to be leaders and men. Let's see you take the lead on this now, because now they're not just dealing with turning their shirts inside out. They're getting fined and they don't give a damn. That's black power. Know what you guys can do at home? If you guys like what the women in the WNBA are doing, you can help out. It may sound small, but it will help. I tell you guys all the time, take your money out of the white bank and go put it in the black bank. Support your black businesses. Go out of your way to patronize black businesses. Don't ask for a discount. You can find some businesses on findblackbiz.com. We're always growing. And remember to always think, act, Bye, Black.